Returning to the figure library now, let's take a look at the stethoscope. Again, going down to the instructional method, it says load as figure, pose tubes and headset using the rotate dials on each section, use the curve control to smooth rotated sections. So I'm going to delete the low pressure cuff, bring up our stethoscope. So zoom into the stethoscope. The stethoscope is composed mainly of tubes and it's symmetrical. This means you can pose the left side of the headset and copy that pose to the right side using the symmetry command. The hip for the stethoscope is the centerpiece right here where all three tubes meet. The bottom part here is the chest piece and then you have your two ear earbuds and your headset. So let's bring Andy back and place the stethoscope on his shoulders so that it looks like he's giving a consultation rather than giving an exam. We're going to raise the stethoscope so that the hip lays snugly on the chest bone right here. The body, raise it up. I'll zoom in a little bit. so that we can see the shoulders and chest. Put this forward so that the hip is right about there. And then we'll rotate on the x-axis until we get the angle that matches the chest. And then we'll just lower and then bring it back just a little bit so that it's resting nicely against his neck. Take slightly, bring it up like so. So that's nice and snug right there. Then we can take the tube, rotate it down, and then rotate so that it's laying against his against his shoulders. Then once we have that laid in position, we can use the symmetry, left to right. So now it's laying nice and flat on both shoulders. And then we'll simply fold this down over, over his chest. To, you can adjust the hip a little bit there and then just bring these up a little bit until it's laying the way you want. Then we'll take this part here, make it so that it hangs straight. And there you are. So now that we have the stethoscope in place, we will parent this to his chest. So we will do figure. Set figure parent, just. So now if we select, it will move, the stethoscope will move with, with Andy. If you wanted the stethoscope to be attached to, say, his ears, you might parent to the head instead of the chest. You should think about how you plan to animate the character and the stethoscope when deciding how to place and parent your stethoscope. So once in once it's in position and parented, you can use your, your rotate to, to move it. You can also, uh, with a bit of practice, use your, your translate tool to you know, pull it up to, to do an exam, something like that. And then you can you can use the Z rotate to rotate the chest piece. Looking in the materials library for the stethoscope, you see we have six materials in here. There is the stethoscope diaphragm. There is the stethoscope earbuds, which is similar to the diaphragm, not quite as shiny. There is a stethoscope grip, which is a rubber type grip. You have stethoscope headset, which is a metal. 
there is a metal frame which is the part on the chest piece which again is a ray trace metal and we have the stethoscope tube which is a black plastic. All of these are primitives and can be used on other props.